Hi guys, let me know if you're here and let me know if you can hear me. I'm using my computer for the first time. So let me know, actually, let me look on my phone and let me make sure I'm doing this right. And let me know if you can hear me. Press a one in the chat if you can hear me. Because I've never done this on my computer. I have the dog. Hey, Lisa, can you hear me? Let me know. I forgot to put a thumbnail up. I just realized that. Hi, everybody. Let me get my glasses on. So can you guys hear me better? Good. Because I have my new mic. Let me show you. See? So I have my mic now. Let me know if it's too loud or anything. But I'm in the dining room today because I have the dogs down here. And I'm, ooh, I'm using the computer for the first time. I got to remember the camera's up here. So let me put my glasses on so I can say hi to everybody and clean my glasses. I thought I lost my glasses again. Remember, I just found them. And I'm like, where are they for like 10 minutes? And they fell off of my desk, like in a box. <laughs> I was like, no, I won't be able to see. Okay, let me go back up and um, say hi to everybody. I don't even think I um, monetized the chat or anything. Okay, hi, Lisa. Hi, Kimberlini and Pam. And I always have trouble pronouncing your name. Um, Constellange 120. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Kay, Natasha, Josie. Hi, Jeanette, and Pam, Danielle, Mel. I see my girl Jody's on here as well. Hi, Ursula. Hey, Christine. How are you? Retail therapy on a budget. Yes, ma'am. How are you guys? Hi, Sarah with the H. Hey, Tammy. How are you? So I'm gl good. I'm glad that you guys can hear me. Hi, One Love K and Emily and everybody else that came on. Look what I figured out how to do. Now, I still have not figured out how to do like the share on here because. I'll have to use the phone and show you guys when I do the comment picker, but I'm so proud of myself. Look what I learned. Okay. Let me see if I no, watch it. Watch it. Don't work. I'll feel so stupid. Okay. Is it here? Let me see. Okay. You ready? Hold on. Look, I put in some banners that I can, uh, you know, like, you know, when I get talking and stuff like that, and then I put, uh, Hi to everyone in the chat and stuff like that. Now I just got to figure out how do, how do I take it off? Hold on. Oh, there we go. See? Now let me go back to my chat, to my comments. I'm so proud of myself. I was like, oh, look at this. I am so proud. So how are you guys doing? Let me know if you guys got anything planned uh, for this weekend. I do not. Lexi's off tomorrow, so she's going to be cooking and stuff. Let's see what you're saying. I'm just going to wait a few minutes. And then we're going to pick the winners from the Beautylish Lucky Bag. Um, let's see. Hello from Missouri. It was beautiful today. It was in the 60s today. Can you believe that? It snowed last week and in the 60s today. But it was, it's was it been raining, so it's not like you can go out and enjoy yourself, you know? I know. Wasn't I also? I was like, oh, look at this. So, you know how, like, when I have people come up and stuff, and if people are talking or if I'm talking, you know, that way I can just like put the thing up and say hi or hit the like button or what have you, you know? I surprised myself. I know. Thank you, Jody. Now, I just got uh, Tammy, we need to talk because I got to figure out how to like share a screen. Because I looked on here, I'm like, I don't see, oh, maybe the present. Do you know what's weird? So this is the first time I'm using StreamYard on my computer. But when I used the um, the iPad, I didn't have that. So maybe that's how you do it, um, like share something. I don't know. I have to mess around with it. Hi, Sharon. Okay, we got how many people? 95 people on here so far. So I'll just wait like two more minutes and then we'll go ahead and pick the winner just in case if that's what you're here for. And then after that, we'll, you know, do some chit chat in. And if you guys want to come up and all that kind of stuff. 59. Wow. Let me see what it is right now. I don't, I don't know what it is right now. Let's see. It's 51 right now. But foggy. 51. That's not bad. You have to work Saturday and Sunday. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. Well, my son, so my son, he works the second shift, you know, like if you follow me on my vlog channel, then you know, right? 
But he was like, mom, because uh, he only works part time, but they give him like full time hours. And a lot of jobs do that. Right. So they don't have to offer you health care. Right. Um, but uh, somebody else is going somewhere. So they the manager asked him if he wanted to be full time, but work seven to four. And so I'm so happy I get to spend more time with them because I don't hardly ever see him because he works from two to 11. And then a lot of times he goes to the gym and then he's tired. He comes home, takes a shower, goes in his room. And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. I don't know where that came from. I have two weekends of fun and then a full knee. Rep oh, my God. February 5th, which was a surprise how fast the doctor scheduled. It. Yes. Oh, God, it must have been pretty bad then, Heather. Oh, Lord. Is it just one knee or two? You said knee, so I'm hoping it's just one knee, but oh, God. Um, there are so many options on a laptop. Yes, I see that now because the you know what the issue I have? So when, remember the first time I tried using the computer, like when we went to in the morning and I didn't like the lighting, so I never used it again. And I used the iPad, which my iPad is like six, seven years old. Okay. It's pretty old. It didn't have a lot of options, but I like the camera on it. <laughs> like, don't I look real pale right now? I don't know what's going on with this computer, but I, I need to use the phone. I did. Somebody told me though, when you use your phone, you can't see chat. But then I was practicing with it today, like playing around, and you can see chat on the phone. So maybe that's what I'll do. Texas in the house, his house. Okay. All right. Let me, oh my goodness, I'm so behind on comments. Hey, Robin King, how are you? I have Nala over here if you hear her whining and or down here. Just Joe, how are you? Okay. Hey, Darcy. 79 in Florida. Holy cow. Okay. Hey from Kentucky. Hi, Tammy. Let me show you real quick. And then I guess enough people's on here. Are you guys ready to pick a winner or should I wait? Let me know. This is how you can always tell my, my water bottles. Look, do you guys do this? You know, when you have kids, right? Everybody drinks water. And some people put like a letter, like of course, A for Ann would be up here. Correct. But since when my kids were little, I, even if even my kids, I don't want anybody drinking after me or anything like that. Oh, God, no. So I I just I, I don't even know I do it when I drink it. I, I squeeze the bottle so you can always tell which ones are mine. You know, anyway, that's why I got my winner to get something to drink. OK, we'll get ready to pick a winner. OK, so I wrote down I, I came prepared. Look. I have sloppy handwriting, so okay, nobody read me to filth. Um, I wrote down here. Hey, see, this is opposite too. It's bothering me. So we'll do because the the first video I put up was the Lucky Bag XL, and if you guys remember, that was the Natasha Denona My Dream palette. So that's what we'll do first. And just to let you guys know, I'll also throw in some extra stuff in there as well. Um, there, it's open up international, but. It, if you do live international, I probably won't be able to mail um, it for probably till like next week. I'm just going to be very honest with you guys. You know, if you live in the U.S. and I can mail it, well, tomorrow, Saturday, maybe Monday, I guess. I don't know. Unless I get up early tomorrow, you know, um, if you get back to me. Um, I'm going to give you guys 48 hours. So you have until today's Friday night, Saturday, Sunday night till Monday. If I don't hear from you, anybody, because you do not have to be on the live, but if I don't hear from you by Monday, then we'll Monday night, we'll come back on and pick another winner. Is that fair? 48 hours? Because I know people are busy on the weekend. So is that fair? Do you guys think? Uh, praying for you, please. Yes, please keep us posted on your surgery. Okay. All right. See how my chat, it like just stops and then I get behind. Okay. So I have my phone because I don't know how to share a screen. Once I learn then I can like share the screen and you guys can see it on the screen, but we'll do it on the phone. You'll... God, this is bothering me. You'll see everything so that, you know, everything's live. It's not biased, anything like that. So we'll, we'll do that. How do we get a hold of you? Okay. So in my about page, but after the live is over, I will definitely put my email up. And then I also have my Instagram. Um, so either or you can get a hold of me. If you don't have Instagram, then just email me. Okay. So let me go to 
to here. Okay, so that that this is the comment picker app. I don't know what you guys can see that I'm using. Okay. Now I got to go to my YouTube channel because I have to. Right here is the be beautylish lucky bag. I got to get the URL or whatever it's called, the link. So let me get the link, copy the link, go here, paste it. Okay. So then I'm going to filter the comment based on a specific text because do you guys remember? See, I clicked it right there. See the arrow? Because in that video, you had to use the word lipstick. Remember, I said use the word lipstick in a comment. So let me write that in. Lipstick. Okay, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I don't know what you can see. Do you see I put the word lipstick in? Okay. So now I'm just going to hit get random comment. Right now it's like building up all the comments. I think there was like over a thousand comments. I know I'm prepared because last time I embarrassed myself, I was mortified. Oh, a Southern mom on here. Hi. Um, Okay, right there's the winner. I can't look. Emily Brooks, 677. Let's see what she wrote. Let me screenshot this. Okay, it says, what a great box. I don't care for lipstick, rather have lip gloss or lip balm. <laughs> feel you. Okay, so everybody sees that. So I screenshot it, but I'm also going to write it down. Where's my pen? Oh, right here. Here's my pen. Let me write that down real quick. Emily Brooks. I'll also um, go to her comment as well and let her know as well, just in case, you know, to make it fair. Emily Brooks, 677. Okay. But I screenshotted it too. Let me make sure I screenshotted it before I go to the next one. Let me make sure. Yes. Okay, I have a screenshot it. Okay, so congratulations to you. Let me get a sip of water and then we'll go to the regular bag. Yes, congratulations. Um, Like I said, last time, do you guys remember? I was like sweating. I was so embarrassed because I haven't used a comma picker in so long. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, nothing was working. Because years ago when I used to do a lot of giveaways, you didn't have to like be signed up to this and this and this. You could just do it. But now it's like they want you to sign up and do this. And so I had to keep getting out and then go into something else. Oh, I, I was mortified. I was so embarrassed. But like I said, when I learn how to share a screen, it will pop up on here where I don't have to like show you the phone. You know, you guys will be able to see it. Keep out the scammers. Yes. Okay. So on the uh, regular beauty bag was the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette, okay? Again, I will put some extra stuff in there. Uh, 48 hours again, we'll have uh, then Monday night, if I don't hear from anybody, we'll go live again, do a very quick live, to pick, pick somebody else. Um, and then the comment picker word for that was lucky. Let me show you right there, lucky. All right, so let me go back in here. Hold, hold the phone. Okay, let me go to my channel. Okay, let me copy that. Share, copy link. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Let me X out of that. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going back in. I got nervous for a minute. I have to go back in. Okay. So now, can you guys see? I'm going to cop, I'm going to paste the URL right there. Okay. I'm going to hit filter comments based on specific text. Guys, see that I checked it right there. And then I'll put the word lucky in. Lucky. Let me just show you. So I put lucky. 
Okay. And now let's hit get comments. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that was quick. Right there. Is Monica in here? Okay. Let me screenshot this. It says, do you have to be at the live to win lucky bag giveaways? <laughs> oh, Monica, you're in here. Look at that. See, you won. Congratulations, Monica. Well, now that you're in here, email me or do you have Instagram? Get a hold of me on Instagram. Um, I changed my Instagram name. It used to be Just Ann Rankin, but now it's I am Just Ann, like J U S T underscore A N N E. Congratulations. Well, I don't know why I'm snapping for. So you won. All right. Uh, let me know. Do you live in the U.S.? If you live in the U.S., uh, if not, then you just have to wait like, you know, till next week or something. Let me know. Don't say where you live at here. Just let me know. Yes or no. Do you live in the U.S.? Oh, I'm so happy for you. I thought I seen when I seen your name. Hi, why go warrior? How are you? Uh, let's see. Hi, sunshine. How are you? I'm glad to see you in here. I've been so thirsty lately. Okay. Oh, let me write your name down, even though I screenshot it and I know you're in here, but I still want to um, write your name down because that way, you know, I have it. I mean, no, I can't do two things at once. Monica. Should know, but okay. All right. So I have the names. I have everything here. I have my screenshot. Okay. So let me put my phone and everything away. So now we could talk. Okay. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. Do I sound too loud? Let me know. Cause if you're just coming in, it's the first time using this mic. And cause remember last time, all of a sudden, like the sound went and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, Ori. Hey, Aura. So, n n what? <laughs> I'm, getting ready. I'm stuttering. Let me know if it's too loud. How does it sound? Let me know. I'm spitting my attention between you and Drag Race. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. I can't stay long. Oh, it's going. Husband is in the hospital waiting for st st oh, st oh, no. I've been home since Tuesday. My bed is. Oh, no. Kelly, keep me updated um, how he's doing and stuff, please. That's terrible. Hopefully, they'll get you right in and, and get that done. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. It sounds perfect. Good, 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 good. Hi, Uri. I don't know what you can see. Let's see. I don't think she'll go in my lap. Come here. Come here. Oh, she did. Here's Aura. She is a year and a half old. She is a bully. Okay, now get down. Damn, good girl. So that's Aura. You guys know what Nala looks like. And then the puppy's upstairs with uh, Tyler. Okay. So let me tell you a story real quick, and then I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to come up or anything. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. Okay, I don't have any makeup on, just, uh, well, I do have like face powder. I'm testing out this new face powder but I do have like mascara and lipstick on and of course, eyebrow pencil. Um, okay, good, good. Uh, so my son has a friend that he knew since they were little. I'm talking about little, little, like six, seven years old. And when um, Tyler was little, he was probably about eight or nine. He, uh, broke his ankle, right? So they lived a couple of doors down at the time. And you know, those, um, exercise trampolines that are outside and, and it's like a little trampoline. And then you like has the little handle and you hold it and you like jump or whatever. So, uh, you know, he was doing it, lost his balance and he fell right on his elbow and his elbow went like this here. Now he didn't need surgery, but they like, oh gosh, when I went to the hospital, the, I don't know why I did this. The doctor, I was in the room and they, of course they gave him pain. I'm telling you all this for a reason. So of course they gave him pain medicine and all that. And, but they were like, do you want to stay in the room? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't realize what they were going to do. Okay. 
The doctor gets on top of him. I'm talking about, let's say Tyler's face is here. The doctor like squaddles him, knee to knee on top of him and takes his arm and just jerks it to pop it right in place. I thought I was going to pass out. Tyler didn't feel nothing. He was high as heck on these drugs. He wasn't feeling nothing. But I was like, no wonder why he was like, are you sure you want to stay in here for this? I literally thought I was going to pass out. I can just feel my body getting oozy. Now, so my, Tyler's friend will call him, uh, I'm so bad at names. I either want to say Billy or Ryan, and I don't know any Billy or Ryan's. We'll call him Billy. Billy's grandmother had came because that's where Tyler fell at, right? Came right to the hospital and was like, you know, I'll pay for everything. And I was like, no, at the time, you know, we had insurance. I was like, no, don't worry about it. And ever since then, I've always respected that family. They came right, even though it was, it was a freak accident. No, it was nobody's fault. But the fact that they came right to the hospital, checked on Tyler, offered to pay for anything. And I was like, no, no, we don't, we don't sue. We don't do that. He's got health insurance. So they always stayed really good friends. Now, you know, Tyler's 28 and so is Billy. Billy's old. Well, anyway, Billy just had, his girlfriend just had their first baby. Uh, they just came home from the hospital yesterday. So I feel like a grandmother, even though, you know, it's not mine, but because I've known Billy since, my God, 20 years now, it's like, oh, and uh, Tyler's like all excited because it's like a, you know, Billy's like a brother to him, you know? So. Anyway, that's why I didn't go live yesterday. But, you know, when you have a friend like that and you're very close to the family and um, now the grandmother now just turned 83 and she just sold her house, but she lived here all this time. You know, she knew my mom, my grandmother. Um, it, it, it's just nice, you know. Yeah, I thought, oh, uh, it's so cute. Like, it's like you feel old, like when you know someone that's little and now they have kids. It's so weird, right? Uh, remember to exit the live chat. Yes, guys, please. Oh, I forgot. I got my 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 thingy. It's under banners, I think. Yes. All right, hold on. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Um, then I have this. Don't forget to subscribe. Then I figured if I'm talking to somebody and people are coming in, I put this up. Look, hi to everyone in chat. And then the last one, you know, for the re replay crew, we can't forget about them. I'm so proud of myself that I learned that all on my own. Now I just got to figure everything else. Um, what are you picking winners for? So in my Beautylish Lucky bags and both of them, um, I had a giveaway in them. And you had to say a certain word and all of that. So that's what that was for. Um, I got my goodies and your palette is beautiful. Oh, good. Katie, I'm so happy. You know, so many people tell me um, like it looks different in person, which I know because on camera, it favors like very blue and it's like a bluish purple, but it's not like blue. Right. And it's different. Those duochromes and everything. Like I love the shade frost, you know, and it's like, that's why I wish I had a camera because you guys know I film on my phone because a camera would zoom in and you'd be able to see it a lot better. So um, Darcy's in here. Darcy's the one who is the owner of St. Angels and Sinners. It's her formula. So, um, is your live chat is subscribers only people have to subscribe to person? No, absolutely not. Anybody can come in. I don't, I don't do that. Like you, I know certain, some people put like only subscribers. No, mm -mm. I mean, I'd like for you to subscribe, but no, anybody can come in here and chat. The only way like you get blocked or something like that, if you say something racist or to that effect, even if you disagree with me, you don't get blocked. You, your, your comment never gets deleted, even on my regular videos, uh, you know, because everybody has, we have a right to agree to disagree. Uh, but if you, you know, say something racist or something like that, then it's different. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, yes, congratulations to the winners. So anyway, that, my point is, did I already repeat myself? I'm so hyper. I don't know. Every time I go live, I don't know why I get nervous. Why do I do that? I remember years ago, I used to go live every Thursday night faithfully, but now I don't ever go live like I'm nervous. <laughs> no idea. If you aren't seeing all the comments, click live chat and hit all. R right. I, yep. You're right. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, Darcy said, I thought that was amazing because I've never used one of those and you had it all set up. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't think you're talking to me, right? Well, it might be worth it if, if you block someone, they can still hate watch you. Well, yeah, that's true. But the, the difference is they can hate watch me, but if they leave a comment, I won't see it, right? So they can just comment to themselves, you know? So that's how that is. Uh, it took me a while to find the like button, but I found it after one click or, uh, yeah, yeah. And you know what, you know why I think I forget? Because on StreamYard, I don't see a thumbs up button. Like, you know, like on YouTube, you have that right there. So I always forget. Uh, you and I have a lot in common health issues. Why? So I enjoy your content. Oh, thank you. I'm actually doing a lot better on my health. You know, my blood pressure is real high and stuff like that. And uh, my sugar is getting, I mean, it's not like perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better. And I feel a lot better. You know what I mean? I'm not as tired. And like, I notice when my sugar acts up, I get very depressed or like lazy. I don't know the right word where I don't want to do anything. I'm not motivated. You, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm feeling a lot better. Um, oh, Dolphins Girl, did I say hi to you? I am so sorry. Hi, Star Sun Moon. How are you? Hi to everybody who came in. Can you repeat the first winner? I just heard the second one. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. The first winner is Emily Brooks, 677. I wrote it right there. First live. Oh, good, Audrey. I'm happy that you're here. I'll probably do more lives on my vlog channel because that's, you know, uh, where I get more like personal and stuff like this. But when I learn how to do more things on this stream yard, I want to do more like, you know, every time I say professional sounds so funny because, you know, I am not professional. I want to do like, you know, put pictures up of new releases and talk about it. And then you guys can come up or in chat, like, do you like it? Do you not? Would you buy it? You know, stuff like that. You know, I think that will be cool or have different topics and then we can come up and talk about it. I didn't really have a topic for today because I just mainly want to come on for the winter. And then I figured whatever we talk about, we want to gossip, what have you. Anything on YouTube you want to gossip about, that's fine. Um, Anne wants to do more. Um, yes. Uh, yes. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with Darcy with St. Angels and Sinners, one of their palettes. Yes, I am. And then what I believe, am I, correct me if I'm right or wrong, Darcy. So um, I think it's the Jewel palette, right? Let me know if I'm right or wrong. And then Dar whoever wins, Darcy will be mailing it out and stuff. Her, her company will be doing that. So we'll get together either tonight or tomorrow and we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, there'll be an upcoming giveaway. If, if you got my palette and you like the formula, then you already know what the formula is like. It's absolutely, I, I, I love her formula. I really, really do. Okay. Oh, and Kimberlini, she got her box. Do you guys remember when I said I was going to send her some makeup? She got her box. So have and I know you've been playing around with it. Um, what did you think of the palette, Kimberlini? I, I do. You, do people call you Kimberlini or what do they call you, Kim? Let me know. Yeah, lethargic. I think I'm behind on comments again because my chat just state gets. Like it just stays. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so behind. I have missed previous videos and winners. Got another family member in the household, new position at work and still working on diabetic lifestyle with the new, newer diagnosis. Oh, well, that's good that you got a new position at work. I hope it's a better one and a good one and everything, but I'm sorry. Um, like I hope nothing's wrong, you know, but I'm glad to see you here. I'm so happy to see you here. Can you do a viewer pick makeup with Poland products life get ready with me? Um, I can. I never thought about that. Yes, I can. Like what? Like on the, how would I do that? Like on the community post where I like pick like, um, let's say blush and put blush or how, or maybe on a live stream, do I show you a few and then you guys pick like that? How, how would I do that? But I, I'll definitely do it. Absolutely. Um, did you link the paint color in your blogs? Paint color. What are you talking about? This color? Let me know, Andy. The, that I painted this? 
Uh, you know, I don't have a good memory. Um, hi, Dinah. How are you? Hi, L. Davis. Um, want you to give away the ones I gave you. Okay, I don't want you to give away the ones I gave you. I don't want you to. I want to give them a new one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That I know. I know that one. Yep. Um, oh, good. Stunt. You like it? Good. Good, good, good. Um, you could do the jewel palette tonight. Only have two left and I'll send it to the winner tomorrow. Well, I don't know how I would do that if I did it tonight. Maybe um, I'll have to do a video because unless like I just, I don't know how I would do that. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Jamie Hughes. I left a comment on your last video about Beam Dream Tea. It's supposed to be good. Oh, I think I seen it to help you sleep. And did you eat? I think, I think, did you message me too? Or I know I definitely seen it in a comment. I did. Because I definitely need something to help me sleep. Um, how do we enter the contest for the palette? Yeah, what I'll do tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday, but I'll do a quick little video. That's what we'll do. Uh, I'll make a video. The video will be up tomorrow. And then we'll do the same thing where I'll say to a certain word and all that kind of stuff. So look out for it tomorrow. I'll, I'll do like a quick five minute video. How's that? You know, that way I know like I can go back to the comment picker, put the, you know, the link in and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. You could do a live and do a poll in chat, I, but I don't know how to do a poll on here. Okay. Um, let's see. I hope you're having a great evening. I am. I was so happy, but I left it upstairs. I bought myself a new, um, study Bible, which I was reading today, which I absolutely love because I haven't had a new Bible in probably 15 years or something like that. And now I got where the, the, the print is large and I can read it and I really, really like it. I'm going to have to show Well, I'll show it on my blog channel. Um, but I've been reading that too. I really, really like it because it actually has like, so every chapter it like explains what it means in English where I can understand it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because sometimes I'm like, uh, what does this mean? I love it. Oh, hey, Donna. Have you uploaded the makeup you was going to sell? No, I did not. I did not. Donna, you got, listen, you got to read me the filth. You know that. I have to do it tomorrow. What? Because am I filming tomorrow except for the one video? Uh, me and Lexi will be doing a little vlog tomorrow. But I have to. You know what it is? Well, I haven't been feeling, here, here's my excuses. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to make excuses. You know, I wasn't feeling good. You know, all of that. The, the answer is I just need to get it done. I've been promising you guys. I mean, I just have to take a picture and put it on my website, you know, so I, I, I got to do it. You know, and that's the truth. Did you see where I started a YouTube channel? It's called anti, is it died? Um, I will do makeup reviews, wig reviews. Oh my goodness. No, good. Um, I love my study Bible. It was such a, oh, what happened to my, the comment? See, it goes so fast. Oh, it's such a great investment. Yes, it is. It is. It makes you want to read it more when you can understand it. You know what I mean? And then I like it that in the very back. So if there's certain words that uh, you want to look up, well, first of all, if there's certain words in it, you can look it up and it'll tell you what it means. But also if you're looking up like uh, divorce or something like that, then it'll give you different like um books in there are different, you know, and it'll tell you exactly where to go where it talks about divorce or what have you. And I like that as well. Yes. Yes. Um, I know Lexi can cook, cook her, but Lexi's a better cook than me. She really, really is. I mean, she really is. See her mom and her, her mom, her grandmother and grandfather were very good cooks. Okay. So her grandfather is Jamaican and he passed away, but he cooked really good. He was an assistant pastor of a church. And then her grandmother, she's still living. Um, she cooked really good. And what they would do was they would both like cook, you know, Sundays for the church and they would also sell platters, but they would like compete who can cook better. And I, they both cook so good and they enjoy cooking. And Lexi, I think, took after them because I hate cooking. I cook because you have kids, right? And you have a family. You have to cook. 
I just never liked it, but I did it. You know what I mean? And they like my cooking. I just, you know, some people, they just love cooking and love experimenting and all that. No, that was not me. And that had a lot to do with my upbringing. I'm, I'm almost positive. Okay. Because my mother and grandmother, I mean, you know what my grandmother, my grandmother was a waitress for over 40 years. Okay. True story. And her second husband, he was a chef. So he did all the cooking. And then when he got sick and passed away and stuff, you know, she started cooking. Well, her, she thought salt and pepper was seasoning. Everything was salt and pepper. And then my mom, when she would cook like chicken or something like that, who remembers the shake and bake? Yes. Everything was shake and bake. That was her seasoning. Okay. Now they cook like, um, matzo ball soup and all different things. That was really, really good, you know, but like, so. When I moved out, I did not know how to cook. No, I didn't. My, I was just telling Lexi this because she had made chicken. She, she just made, it's called hot honey chicken. And I was telling her the first time I cooked, okay, I was with my son's father. Okay. I was 17 and I was embarrassed. So I acted like I knew how to cook. Okay. And I was going to make chicken. I don't know why I picked chicken. You would think I would maybe steak or something, but I picked chicken. Okay. So I didn't even know what to season it with or anything. So I had no seasoning, none. Okay. Then I had the oil too hot. All right. So when I put the chicken in, the chicken burnt on the outside and was raw on the inside. I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. We had pizza that night. I didn't know. And then when I moved to my second apartment that I lived in, I met this a, a friend of mine and she's the one who taught me how to cook. Also, Lexi's uh, family taught me how to cook, you know, but my friend really taught me how to cook. And that's how I learned. But I didn't know how to do anything, you know. So I am so glad. And Isaiah likes to cook, too. Okay. Um, I don't feel good as well, but I thank God I can make it work three days away. Yes. Um, I was so sad. I couldn't keep them all together. I only have a Malibu. Oh, I think I'm out of the conversation here. I've been wanting to see more cooking videos from you. I watched you a couple. Yes, 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 yes. And I, I, I am because I want to start doing more things in the house, you know, instead of just like, go to the three in in my vlog channel i go to the the three same stores right shop right uh walmart and wawa you know or like i do my walk and talks which it's been like cold and it always rains here but you know once it gets nicer out i'll do that but i figured you know i get up every day i can vlog while i'm making my coffee do some coffee talks whatever i'm doing you know that would be sitting outside on the porch what have you why not? You know? Okay. I'm going to drop the link in a few minutes. If anybody wants to come up real quick, how long have we been on here? I can't tell on here. Uh, my man does all the cooking too. Well, if I ever meet somebody else, I want a man. I love a man that can cook. Oh my God. I love it so much. The, the, these are what I want. Now I'm not saying I'm going to get everything. Okay. If you don't know, my divorce is final. So I'm divorced now, but I'm not looking, you know, um, I want, I don't care too much about looks. I mean, I do. I got to be somewhat attracted to you, right? You know, I, I have to have some type of attraction to you, but you don't have to be like drop dead gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like that. But I, I want somebody funny. Not like, you don't have to be like so funny, but somebody that can entertain me. I want somebody that likes to be like outdoorsy, that likes to go for walks and hiking and all that type of stuff. And somebody that's good with their hands. And don't be nasty. I'm not talking about that way. Like either can fix a car, work on the house, something. You know what I mean? And I'll be fine. Is that asking too much? And 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 can like support himself. You know what I mean? That might be asking for too much. I don't know. Uh, my second grandson was born Christmas Eve. Oh, congratulations, Jamie, which is the same day as his two-year-old brother. Oh, wow. So both of our grandsons are Christmas Eve babies. What, let me just tell you what I was telling you about my son's uh, friend, Billy. Okay. Billy's mom and me have the same birthday, the month, the day, and the year. So Tyler and Billy are best friends. And both of their mothers, me and his mother, are born on the same day. How weird is that? That's crazy, huh? 
Um, you had wrist uh, surgery on. Oh gosh, you, what, for carpal tunnel or what? Or did you break it? Oh my goodness, I am so behind. Okay, let me see. When I was in high school, I hosted a barbecue. I had the fire so high, I literally incinerated the chicken. <laughs> Total ash. I didn't go that far. Oh my god, Jenna, I would have been mortified. The only time I caused a fire, I told you guys before, I, I don't know if I told you lately, when I set somebody on fire, it was an, it was an, like an, well, not him, his shirt, it was an accident. We had home ec. Who remembers when you used to have home ec? So half of the year you had home ec and then like cooking and then you would have sewing, you know, when you used to make like the pillows and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So me and this guy, his name was Tevis. He was a twin. All right. And he was my partner. All right. So I did the cooking and he did the dishes. He like did the cleaning up and we worked good together. Well, back in the early 90s, 90, 91, 92, you remember the style was the flannels, the big flannels. Who remembers that? Okay. So I had a lighter. Now, I never smoked cigarettes or anything like that. I don't know why I had a lighter, but I remember having a lighter. And so I'm going like this to him. And he's like, stop playing, stop playing. And I'm going like this playing with them. Well, back then they made clothes very flammable. <laughs> you know, now they can't sell flammable clothes. Back then they did. And I remember I got a little too close to him and his arm went. Phew! And I was like, and I'm like patting him like this. He takes the flannel off, like, you know, and I remember I got suspended. I, I almost got expelled. I did not. I got suspended 10 days. But yeah, that, that could have been a little dangerous. <laughs> he was like, you play too much. <laughs> oh, God. The things that you I look back on, you know. All right, let me go back down to the comments. And then when the live's over, I'll go back and uh, reread re the comments. We made, it, we made a pancake from the oven. I remember they told us how to do that. I don't think I ever made a pancake from the oven. Um, I, I broke last year and I didn't heal. Oh, you broke it last year. Oh, God, that's terrible. Funny story, and my brother and his friends did that with our socks. Oh, gosh. I, I have so many. Well, I, I have a lot of stories I can share. I do. I share a lot on my blog channel, but I I, I was banned. I admit that. I, I was banned. Um, I stole a flannel from my dad a few years ago, and it's my favorite jacket. Yes. Do you know what I noticed? Sometimes now, like if I go to like Walmart or something like that, and I go past the clothes, do you know what's coming back? Who remembers the stonewashed jeans? Do you guys remember that? I see that. It's like the, you know, it's all coming back, you know, and all of that. I love flannels too, you know, but isn't that crazy? I'm like, oh my God, I remember that. You always had a dark pair of stonewashed jeans, a light pair. Um, I remember us lighting our socks on fire. How about in the bathroom? Do you guys, did you guys used to take like toilet paper? Put it in a ball, wet it, and then throw it up on the ceiling <laughs> in the bathroom in school. And then wait when somebody comes in and it falls on them. Oh, gosh. You know, that that's the kind of stuff that we did back then. We didn't have cell phones, right, when we were growing up. We had beepers, maybe, like if you're in my time, right? But you didn't have none of that. You didn't have the social media. I mean, you had to do stuff to, like, keep you occupied. Yeah, pillows, yep, uh, ashtrays. How about when we had um what was it? Um um the wood shop, you know, and then you always had like a plaque, you made like a plaque or something. Um, let's see. Yes, the acid wash jeans. Yes, they're coming back. I seen them in Walmart. I was like, wow, that brought back some memories. <laughs> um, yeah, you like acid. I know, aren't they pretty? Okay, I'm going to drink a water and I'm going to drop the link if anybody wants to come up and say hi really quickly. Let's see. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out on my computer. Oh, Tammy, if, you, if you're if you here, I want to hear where you went that night. Um, remember? Let me see. Okay. My niece's husband passed two weeks before their daughter was born. Oh, and she, a bear made with this shirt of his ashes and spirit. Oh, no. Oh, inside of it. Oh, that's so cool. I I'm sorry that happened, but oh. 
I'll come up with no. That's fine. Come up, girl. Yes, I'm waiting to hear too. I know, Donna, right? That's when all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting ready to talk. The, my, my phone goes mute. And I'm like, where the heck are you looking all good like that for? Where are you going? And then it just dropped. That was the universe saying, <laughs> mind your business. Mind your business. You know what I mean? Uh, you're wearing, oh, and wearing the scrunchy socks. What they call them? Wig, wigwam. Wigwam. Wigwams. I forget. What were they called? How about who remembers the jeans that, that you did this to? Okay. I'm going to show you. You know, I'm not flexible. So I have, I got these um, pajamas at Walmart for like $3. They're like a size 2X and 3X, right? Because I they were $3. So I'm going to show you. So they're big. Do you remember? So you have... Let me get in the camera. Hold on. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. So remember this. And then you would do this. Do you remember? And then roll them up. Who remembers that? Did you guys used to do that? <laughs> oh, think girl. Oh, here's Tammy. Hold on. I see you, Lisa. Let me uh get Tammy up here real quick. Oh, look. Did you see that? Look at my background. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> No, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Can you guys hear Tammy? I can't see. Comment. Hold on. I'll pull him up on my phone. Oh, God. I don't know if it's... You, you guys hear Tammy? How did we do this thing and didn't have social media? I know. Why can't I hear Tammy? Let me see if I'm doing something wrong. You hear? Well, what? What is wrong? Is it? Do you think? Cause I have my mic on. Do you think if I unplug my mic? Oh God. What am I doing? Oh. oh God. How do I fix this? Let me. Let me do this. No, I don't want to mute your mic. There, you. You unmuted it. Can you hear me? Oh, I can't hear you. Not again. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. Kick. Should I? Do you think it's because of my mic? Kick me out and then write in the comments. What do I do? Because you guys can hear, but I can't. The answer machine messages. I know the answer machine message. Oh, Tammy, I don't know what to do. Let me get my phone. Let me see. Close her out and try again. Okay. I'm going to close you out and come back up. Okay. Remove from stage. That is terrible. Do you think it's because I have my mic plugged in? Use your phone and use headphones. Well, my I don't have headphones. Um, can I... The link is you can... Um, do it. You can press and then you can couple come up on panel like Tammy did. But it didn't work. All right. Is Tammy back up? Let's see. Let me see. Okay. Can you hear me? Oh, I know I hear. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me unplug my mic. Oh, God. I might. If I mess everything up, I'm going to have to come back on live. If I come back on live, I'll do it on the phone. Okay. This is terrible. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Now we can't hear you. <laughs> she can hear me, but we can't hear her. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. It's a TGIF. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. I see the problem. I see the problem. You have to go underneath your picture. And unmute your mic. Your mute mic is muted. Oh, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear oh, me? God, I can hear you too now. <laughs> so this, so this is this why I couldn't hear you? It might have been because it was an external source. Okay. Can can you guys hear me good though? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so tell me what you were all dressed up for and all that. Where was you going? Oh, I'll tell you what. I was so excited. My girlfriend's birthday 
And she invited me to go to the bar with her. And being that I just got divorced November 1st, mm-hmm. I was so excited. I was like, oh, yeah. So I bought that outfit on Fashion Nova as a divorce outfit. That's what that outfit is. It's my, the, the, uh, you know, the middle finger to the husband kind of thing, you know? Uh-huh. Anyways, so I got my makeup all done up. And, of course, it was your palette because I'm, I'm in love with that frost. Darcy, Aww. killer job on that. Love the frost. And uh, so I went out and I was so proud of myself because I call my daughter every night at eight o'clock when I don't have her. So I'm mm-hmm. talking to her and she lost interest in 10 minutes. I was like, oh, I'm getting there on time. So I went to the bar. I had one drink. And uh, in two hours, I was there for two hours. And I went to a country bar and a country bar wearing that leather outfit. Oh, Lord, have mercy. The head's turned. And um, I felt like a princess. <laughs> they were probably like, woo-hoo. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then on my way home, here's the best part of the whole thing. So I got my drink at 830. It was a vodka and cranberry. I stopped drinking it at 10 o'clock, waited till 20 of 11, pulled out of the bar in the parking lot, and got pulled over. And out I had to get and do a field sobriety test in this nice little pleather corseted outfit. And I'm like, oh, dear baby Jesus, the dog's at home. Who's going to take care of the dog? (laughs) And uh, needless to say, because I had top lashes on and bottom lashes, my eyes were bloodshot because you know how heavy it gets with both lashes on. Well, I don't know, but yeah. They get heavy and I was up at 6 a.m. And anyways, uh. Yeah, I passed the field sobriety test. I drove at 40 miles an hour through town the rest of the way home, came home, put the outfit. You sobered out real quick, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that outfit in the dirty clothes. It was like, that was my one night out. I am not going out for another 13 years and two months. (laughs) Oh, I'm so happy for you. You deserve it. You really, really do. I I told you this before. I won't share your it's your information, but I am so happy that at such a young age with your daughter, you got out of that environment and, you know, you, you, you put your daughter first, you know, yeah. and, uh, I'm just so, ha- I, I'm so happy for you. And, and, um, I don't know. I'm just, I really am. And you deserve the best and you looked good. You look damn yeah, good. Where I was you. like, where the hell are you going? Yeah. I was, I, I went out, I was all spiffy. And then, uh, you posted that you were going live at nine o'clock, which it's seven o'clock my time. So I got section eight approved. I got a place and I now have a home and uh, I got the U-Haul out there and I busted my butt and I worked like a slave all day today. Cause I was like, I got to be on there at seven o'clock. I got to see my aunt. <laughs> Oh, so I'm so I'm, happy for you. I'm moving and I, I have my own place and my daughter is just ecstatic. We got all her stuff moved before she went with her daddy. And we watched because I'm only allowed to watch your videos when Nala Poo Poo is in the background because she yells, Nala Poo Poo, and she'll sit and watch Aww. people. And uh, so we put you on and uh, we moved everything of her room and got her room all set up and so, yeah, it's it's been a long year because this started January 15th the last year. And, uh, yeah, it's finally come to an end for everything, and we're starting new. Oh, I'm so happy. And you know what? It's yours. Nobody can throw in your face, get out, or I, I'm the breadwinner. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? You don't have that. You can just, you and your daughter, be, you could decorate the way that you want. You can just do whatever you want, and it's yours. I mean, nobody could take it from you. I mean, unless you don't pay the rent, but you know what yeah. I mean, right? Yeah. Nobody could take it from you or, like, kick you out. And, right. oh, that's such a blessing. And I'm so yeah. happy for you. I really, really am. Yeah, it, it's just been... It, it's been a year, but you know what? It, it's been a fantastic year that my daughter and I have learned to be healthy and to communicate better and just love life for a change instead of, you know. <laughs> right, right. Well, she's so young that you got so many years you can of happiness with her. Do you know yeah. what I mean? She's so young. And... um. 
I'm just so happy for you. And I'm so glad that you chose your daughter, you know, and you know, because yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, they, they say the, the hardest part, everybody always says, Oh, well, it's the hardest part to leaving them. No, it's not. The hardest part is staying away when it gets so bad. You don't think that you're going to make it the next day. That's mm -hmm. when it becomes hard. That's when you have to reach down in your gut. And that's when you got to pull it out and be like, Nope, I'm a mom. She don't deserve that. And I don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but you, I was so proud. I was like, oh, we're going through a divorce together. <laughs> well, mine got finalized quickly because we didn't even have lawyers or anything. There, there was nothing to fight for. I mean, we didn't even have a joint banking account. He it, it, like, and then living here, you know, this was my mom's, you know, I, it was inherited. So he, in the state of New Jersey, he can't sue me for that. Um, we didn't have cars to get, like, there was nothing. So it, we didn't have any biological kids together. You know, our kids are, plus they're adults anyway, you know, so it was just easy. It was just, he, I, I had him file the papers so he could pay the court costs. Right. I'm like, he's going to at least pay for something in this marriage. And then that was that it was just easy peasy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah. She, oh, and she got her hair cut. I know none of y'all probably know who Molly Adnali is. It's a show on PBS that she's obsessed with. But it's kind of like Dora the Explorer haircut. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. She got all her hair. Her hair was like down to her butt. And she got it all cut off chin length. And she is just so happy and thinks she's so pretty. And she got new glasses that are nice and colorful. And yeah, she's just, she is just doing so good. And I'm just so proud of her. Do you have like everything that you need for the house, like her bedroom stuff? And because I know like you left with hardly anything. Do you do you have um, stuff? Well, with with this one here, um, uh, it, it, it I got I got a bed and Harley has a bed. And it, the only thing that we're going that we need is because of her being autistic. And if she has an episode and starts flailing on the floor, it's um, concrete. So I do have to get three carpets, one for like my room, the living room and the bedroom in case she does have a fit. But other than that, we we have everything. We've been so blessed by the I don't know, by the shelter we were in, we we got furniture because they have a secondhand store that you can go in and pick out furniture. So we did get furniture, but um I didn't get carpets because of this place here that we were in is carpeted. So I just, it's just carpeting. But other than that, we have everything we need and I will have the carpet soon. I'm working on it. <laughs> Amen. Oh, I'm so happy. I know I keep saying it, but I really, really am. I'm so happy. I really, really am. Well, it's, you, you know, it got me through a lot of it with your videos. Oh, the good oh. laugh. I need a good laugh. Well, you know what, Jimmy? You always kept your faith too. And I've always said that to people like sometimes, you know, my grandmother's last thing to me, one, what she said, two last things to me. One is you've always been so kind to me. She said that to me, but she always said, always keep your faith and meaning whatever it is. It doesn't, you don't have to have like, even if you don't believe, like always keep your, never like never forget faith. who you are or when things are bad, don't give up, you know, and different things. And she's always taught me that. And you know what else she, she always taught me? She said, when things are going really bad, like life goes on. So let's say I'm so sad and I stay in my room and I cry all day. You know, I would, I, I, I can hear her say, life moves on. That's not going to help you. You got to keep going. Now, when you, at night, you get in the shower and you want to cry your, you know, cry in there. If you want to cry yourself to sleep at night, that's something different, but keep getting up and keep going because the world isn't going to wait for you, you know, and time goes by and life is so short. And, you know, um, I notice when I'm older, like it, you know, like sometimes when people tell you things, it's like, mm. but my grandma had a lot of wisdom. And I truly believe that when things are really, really tough, if you if you don't give up and you never gave up and you keep your faith and you, you know, things will happen and you will be blessed. And, and, you know, they, you um, did, that. you took the first step. Remember yeah. that you did that. Well, you know, it, it comes down to um, a situation happened 
And I emailed my pastor that night because I have no family, you know, Mm -hmm. and I was isolated. So no friends. So I just had to say everything that was on my mind. And she was at a retreat. However, uh, she got back to me and she's the one that said, God's going to take care of you. Come on. And Mm -hmm. that's that's who that's who um, told me to have faith, you know, Mm -hmm. and everything happens for a reason. And we're going to look back one day and we're going to laugh about it. And we're going to be so proud of how far we've come. I only got three weeks left of CDL school and I will have my CDL license and I will be bringing in a great income at that point. And then, you know, I'm hoping in three years that we can have a home home. Home is in your heart. I just, you know, we're trying to teach that home is in your heart. It doesn't matter what roofs over you, what walls are around you. You will always That's right. home you have your home. That's right. So, yeah. But thank you. I just wanted to thank you. And I had to let you know about that date night because I watched the replay when I got home and I was telling you the whole story and you couldn't hear me. <laughs> it was getting ready to happen again. I was like, I remember telling Lisa, Lisa's backstage and I, and I was like, I can't believe it. You know, because I, I was like happy for you because you were looking good. I was like, what? Look at you. You yeah, know, well, and-, and the funny thing is, is when you're depressed, you eat. And when you're happy you don't. So I can tell you since last year till now, I've lost 38 pounds and I felt good and I looked good and I was happy. Well, you lost a lot of weight though, you know? Yeah. But I'm not eating my feelings away either. You know, when you're trapped, you sometimes just eat feelings and you can't do that, you know? And I found, well, you know, what? I, here's my issue. I eat when I'm sad and I eat when I'm happy, <laughs> uh, you know, well, you know, being that I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be a sad story, but being I'm on a limited income, mm-hmm. I, uh, always make sure that she has, you know what well, I that's mean? True. And then when she's away, I kind of forget to eat because it's not like I'm cooking for her, you know what I mean? Right. Like, that, that, I, I understand oh. that part. I forgot to eat today. That's like today. I forgot to eat. I was going to go get a pizza and I forgot to go get one because I've been packed. All my dishes are packed. So (laughs) I didn't go get one. And I was like, oh, I forgot to eat. But I do that a lot now, you know. But yeah, I'm a picker. That's my issue. I like like to pick, especially at night when I'm bored. You know know what I think? I think it's I I like to eat, but I think it's boredom or what have you that I just or depression, maybe, I don't know what it is, but that is my issue. You know, like I wish I was the type where I, I mean, I love salad, but if I can eat salad all the time, that'd be fine. But no, I like to pick, you know, yeah. um, which I need to stop. Somebody said they're making homemade baked mac and cheese. Oh, I love oh, mac gosh. and cheese. Oh, that, that is, that is, I am a comfort food girl, like no tomorrow. Oh, I know. Um, the, the, I'll just say one more story and then that's it. But, um, mm-hmm. When, when you're, when we were in, we were in a shelter, if nobody, if people don't know, I was in a, a domestic violence shelter and you, you were given, I mean, it wasn't bad. It was very nice. You had your own casita. And if you aren't familiar with that word, it just means like a home. It was literally like a home, but there wasn't a kitchen or anything. And it was, um, you got your meals cooked for you and you went and got them. And my daughter and I love dumplings and chicken noodle soup. That's what we love. Mm. And I'll tell you what our first meal was. This <laughs> was dumplings and chicken noodle soup. And that's all she ever asked for anymore. And I'm like, oh, I'll cook it for you anytime, baby. We call it the poor man's meal. <laughs> Gosh, I remember growing up, we used to eat a lot of that hamburger helper. Oh, it's so oh. much that I won't even buy it. I, I don't even want to think about hamburger helper. Oh, God. That's yeah, what we, we have a lot of. He likes the... um. We get the encore. They're just like hamburgers and gravy. Do you remember mm-hmm. those? At all? Oh, God. She's addicted to those now. And I'm like, oh, I'm feeding my daughter the worst junk food. <laughs> but she, she, you know, she loves them and she'll eat it. And that's the important thing because we're at this picky stage. What we like one day, we don't like the next day. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you for having me up. And uh, thank you, everybody, for the positive comments. I didn't get to read them all because I was listening. (laughs) But thank you. 
I'm really happy for you, Tammy. You deserve it. And remember, always remember too, you made the first step. And I always believe God helps those who help themselves and you helped yourself. So everything you're getting back is because of you. Remember that too. You know Thanks. what I mean? So I'm Thanks. happy for you. Thank you so much. You have a great night and keep going, Ann. You're doing phenomenal. Oh, well, but I think you, you should do the polls. I, I agree with whoever did that comment. I can't remember. Well, right I don't, how do you do the poll? Do the polls on Instagram so everybody can vote on Instagram and then you can look on your phone to see it, to do it on the live. Oh, like why I'm here. I could do that. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So she, I mean, that that's what I would, that would be me. Just do right, that right, right. So that way, then I could just go ahead. Right, I'll have to do that again. Well, well, tomorrow I'll just do like a quick video since I promised, and you know, yeah. Thank you for having right. me. Just boot me Thank off. Thank you, Tammy. Get off. <laughs> All right, message me anytime. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. I know, Lisa. You've been waiting for a minute here. Did I? Okay. There you go. I just hi. wanted to come up and say hi. Hi. How's your, it's going good tonight. Congratulations to the winners of the Beauty Lish. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I have both those palettes. They're amazing. This is bothering me. It's been bothering me. Sorry. That's my OCD. Oh, I didn't even notice it till you touched it. <laughs> I kept looking at it when I was talking to Tammy and it kept bothering me. See, little things like that bothers me. Are you guys like that too? I am. Like it's like you got to hurry up and fix it or like I can't stop thinking about it. When I think of something, I have to go do it or get it done. The worst for me is if I lose something like I cannot ah. stop looking for it. I you know you're the same and like we'll just like every few hours be up like, well, maybe it's here. Maybe it's there. I know. It's just like, ugh. do you ever get to where this is my issue that I have? I will start cleaning my room and like. I'll have a big mess. And then it's like, I don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> I mean, I'll fix it, but it's like, what the hell did I start this? Because now I got a big mess and I don't even know where to like finish it at, you know? Absolutely. I hate it. I, you get everything out and you're like, well, I'm getting a lot done. And then you're like, I have to clean all this mess up. Yeah. Yes. I get a big <laughs> black bag back. and just start shoving stuff in it. Yep. 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 So that's too funny. I, I've been hey, decluttering. Is Tira here? Hi, Tira. I was on her live the other night. I was listening to that. Thanks for saying hi to me. No, I, I'll tell you what. I've been doing some decluttering in my makeup. I have entirely too much. I know. I, I'm very lazy. I need to get rid of a lot of my makeup. I Because I, some... Oh. Some things I have for so long, I know they're bad. It's just late. It's laziness for me, you know? Because then again, you get you you have a big mess and, you know... My you lipstick. So much to get overwhelmed. My lipsticks. I was going through them, and I had so many that smelled like crayon. I was just like toss, toss, toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so but true. You know, we'll replace them. <laughs> well, my issue before I don't buy so much makeup anymore. What my issue before is, I got into. I've always said this. I believe, like. For me, for me, I can speak for myself. I have a very addictive personality. So, like at one time, of course, it was drugs, and then now, then it became makeup, and then I it became subscription boxes. So I'm not only getting all these subscription boxes, but then I'm getting I'm buying makeup. Like every release ColourPop did, I had to have the whole thing at one. This was back in like 2017, 18, and 19. I went like crazy, and then. I never reviewed it, you know, in my head, I'd say, oh, well, I can review it, but I never did it. I mean, I have so many palettes that I didn't even swatch. That's just terrible. And it's because you, when you're depressed, you think, well, for me, I was like, oh, let me buy this. Or remember when Sephora used to have the, well, maybe they still do, but the 50% off and it was always palettes and stuff. So then I'm like, oh, this is only 50% off. No, and I didn't need it. Yes. Yes. And Sephora will get you. Natasha nona has got a sale going on right now on the retro palettes, but I have them both. But for anybody that's missing them, they have a really good sale going on. And Sephora has been doing their 50% off. Whenever right. Ulta does their 50% off, Sephora does it too. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put the invite in here one more time because I'm not going to stay on here too long. If anybody wants to um, come up. 
Did you see that Gypsy Rose got a puppy? No, I didn't. And I haven't been following her. You know, I haven't been following her that much, but it was all splashed across every place that she had bought a puppy. And people were giving her grief over it because she went to a breeder and, you know, all the things. I don't think she knows much about that sort of thing, though. I mean, she's not out here. She wasn't out here in the world to hear every last thing about all that. But, you know, here, here nor there. She got a puppy. She said she didn't want to have a baby, so she got a puppy. Well, I don't. I, I, what, what, I don't understand what's wrong. Like, what? What's the issue? Because she she got a doodle. Go she got a doodle, and doodle. I, I. This is just you know, in my opinion, um, doodle breeders tend to be. Oh, I don't know. Not the most high quality breeders, and so I people were angry that. about it. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How are Hi. you? Hi. I'm okay. How are you guys? Good. I didn't want to interrupt well, the dual talk. Oh no, I just wanted you to know that to say hi to you. I was listening. Oh, okay. Lisa knows me. Lisa knows I'm 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 ignorant sometimes. I interrupt, but I'm listening to her. But I was trying to say hi to you too. But I'm listening. I was done with what, the doodle thing. Um, what do you guys? I I I don't see. I just don't understand. Well. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm glad that she got a puppy instead of having a baby, to be honest with you, you know, because I don't think she, she's she been, she's only been out, what, a month or so. I mean, you know, she if needs even. to learn her life. Yeah, no baby. She doesn't need a baby yet. It, it's, you know, I don't care that she got a dog. I'm just saying that's why it was all over the internet, because people want you to go to the, the shelter and rescue a dog. Hmm. You know, and that's the push. Of course it is, because there's so many dogs that need homes, for sure. I've done both, though. I have bought a puppy, and I have saved many dogs from the shelter. So either way. Yeah. So, Melissa, tell me what's good. I don't think I've talked to you yet. So I wanted to come on real quick and share my thoughts on the Trend Mood release, Volume 23. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's really good. Everything came fine. There were two. I do have two issues, though. So the ColourPop Super Shock um, that I got is cracked, broken, and the Vita Glow um, collagen is going to expire. It says best before March 20, uh, 29th of this year. So that's only like two months, barely. Before wow. the oh, that'll piss expiration me date, off. yeah. The super shock's easy to fix. I mean, if it's not destroyed, because bouncy, if you just take, you know, your finger, get in there and push it all the way down. I've had, I've dropped them and broke them myself. So hopefully you can just push it down and still be able to use it. Yeah, it's got like one big crack through the middle, so it's not that bad. But well, I think you can fix that. Soft. They're so soft that they break. But what really would piss me off, mine's supposed to come February 1st. If the expiration date on that, see, that 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 will piss me off. I have to do it all the same. You'll have to tell us. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm going to unbox it. Do you know why I got it, though? Because of the um, Charlotte Tilbury, the magic mm -hmm. cream is $100 alone. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm Was sure it that's the full-size magic cream? It. It's the water cream. Yeah, the magic water cream. So it's Was not it full like the size? other one, I don't think. It's Was like it a full cheaper. size? Yeah, it's 1.6 ounces. Oh, good. Exciting. I have yeah, had the yeah. water cream, and I really like it. I never tried it. I saw, I got one from the Ipsy, I think it was whatever X, whatever the old, the old, one of the first Xs that they put out. I think they had the... Charlotte Tilbury, the magic. It wasn't the water; it was the different one. But I sold it instead because I had so I have so much backlog. I'm like you guys; I have so many subscription boxes that I have years of backlog that probably expired that I haven't even used because I just haven't been able to get to it, and it's it's bad. I they only have one phase. I, I do use gotcha. I do. Sorry, guys. I need to give Did, it away. 
Well, you know what my issue is? I I do remember when like BoxyCharm and stuff like that start always having like so much um skincare and like Ipsy Plus. And then before you know it, I had so much skincare that it would go bad before I can even use it. And like the expensive stuff, you know? Because when COVID happened, they weren't, at least where I live, they weren't taking, uh, like the shelters and stuff wasn't taking anything, even if it was new. Yeah, same. Same here. And then what do you do? And it's like, even if it's new, I understand if it was used, but if it's new, you know what I mean? It would. Uh, it is wild. It, they wouldn't take it new. That That is kind of wild, but they wouldn't do it a year. They didn't want anybody at the shelters. They limited the volunteering all that here during the COVID. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I see you Tara. I'm going to put you up here in uh, a second. Uh, yeah. I just, that's all I wanted to, to say. And I'm glad you're doing this again. You guys are doing awesome. So keep up the good work. Thank well, you. I appreciate you coming up here, Melissa. And yeah, my, I'm glad you told me because now I'll look at that. 100% I'm going to look at it. Um, and mine will come February 1st, I believe. So any day now, hopefully. Hopefully it comes earlier, but. Yeah, it was supposed to be tomorrow. My email said tomorrow, but it was today because they, you know, they drop ship them through UPS. So they're, it, it's already in your town. So they just have to deliver them. Uh -huh. Like it's close by. Well, maybe it'll come thing. tomorrow. It might, you never, well, yeah, you'll have to, I'm looking forward to your, to your review. So. Yes. All right, Melissa, thanks for coming up well, here. I appreciate you. Thanks, Anne. Yes. Okay. Peace out, girl. All right. Peace out, Bye. Girl Scout. <laughs> Wait, you said that in a long time. Oh, that is so funny. Um. Okay. Let me bring Tira up. Let me just say hi to everybody who just came in. Um, I've never gotten a, you never gotten a treadmill box. All right. Let me add Tira up here really quickly. Hey, Tira. Hi, Tira. Um, I actually, well, I did come up here for drama. First of all, there's going to be a stream because I'm about to kiss your asses. Okay. Um, I <laughs> wanted to let you know, number one, I was so pissed off to see that I was so late. You guys have been on here an hour plus already. I want to tell you that you guys with panels are so refreshing because that is old school YouTube for me. When I first started streaming, I'd have my homies come up, dude, and we'd talk about nothing, but it didn't matter. The chat wanted to talk about nothing with us. And it always turns into a conversation with you guys. And you, you know what I'm saying? You guys are doing amazing. And I, I'm going to do this right now. Put a one in chat if you love these streams. Just put Aww. a one in chat if you love these streams and you're glad that Anne and Lisa have started doing them. Go, Tyler, I don't see a one yet. Me. I don't see a one yet. Okay, good. We got. Okay, here come the ones, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And you guys are doing great. You really are. And if there's a stream Here, tomorrow that I'm pissed in your butt, you are. And I can tell. And that's why it is fun. Um you know that I'm kissing your asses. So I'll just say publicly, I really like you ladies. And I do hope one day we can be friends. And I if that we never friends. happens, we are I friends, would like Sarah, to, Tira. I would like to think so. I would like I to think so. I can't say your Lisa. name, right? I don't know why. I know, you know what, Tira, 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 call me Tira. Tira. Just call me T, Lisa. That's Tira, what I'm, I'm going to get it right me. before it's over with. Oh, yeah. I'm just, I literally, I'm <laughs> open a vein if I can't say Tira right. And it drives yeah. me nuts. You're going to be well, we fine. Really That's fine. Look at all them ones, you guys. Are you serious? Oh, thank you. And you guys are doing Tira, amazing. Tira, we really. are friendly. We are friendly. I know we're we not friends, are, friends are, but we yeah. are friendly. I'm so yeah. happy that you accepted and my apology. Lisa, Lisa, <laughs> you've apologized a few times, you know, so like, we're going to let that just go. I learned the lesson and that's all that matters, you know what it I'm saying? Me, and I want to, you are me, real bitches. I need, <laughs> I need real bitches in my life. Well, and I'm here. always going to be attracted to people like you, you know, the more and see these live streams, I get to know you guys a lot more and you guys just talk about anything. So you get to hear all these things. Look at all them damn ones in chat, man. They love you. Um, oh. Damn, there was something else I wanted to say really quick. I'm sorry. I keep like bum rushing your chat or your streams. 
I don't know. I was going to say real quick before I wanted to actually talk about drama, but it's up to you anyway. I forgot. Hopefully it comes back. It was like a quick thing. Um, I am wondering, Anne, um, Lisa, I know you were there. Um, thank you for coming into my stream yesterday. People loved you. Beach Dubs, the ones that weren't even in the in the chat. They were like, I don't know who Lisa is, but we like her. And oh, thank you. Yeah, they were like, oh, we like her because you keep it real and that's what they like over there. But, um, Anne, have you seen the stream that I did on Alex? That's going to be number one. And then otherwise I can just stop here. I did. Okay. And I'm just wondering if you have any opinions on it that you'd be willing to talk about. I, I don't want to start drama. I don't. I'm just wondering if that's something that like you would you would just I don't know give opinions on you ain't got a drag or none of that stuff but like is there anything you want to say or would you just like rather say it in your own time well I really don't know what to say right now like what, what give me an example like what do you what well do I, think I guess about, like the I guess your opinion yeah I guess your opinion on just like the things that I pointed out you know we ain't got to talk about that damn subscription box please don't right because Amazon $23.99 uh -uh, not today but um you know just like my opinion on the apologies so yeah very much that like directed towards apologies yeah just that I'm just curious if you have any opinion well, I, I think she owes um, a, a few extra people an apology, especially BTU is one of them. I've said that. Mm -hmm. She definitely does. Um, I, you know, other people an apology. Um, sh she did call me um, and she called me from a number that I didn't know. So when I answered it, it was her business number. And she, she apologized to me and said she was going to make a video and apologize. I I, I don't think I, she made that video yet. I'm I'm not aware of if she did make a video and apologized. I know no. the, the stream that she did about her subscription box. I mean, you know. That I, wasn't an apology. Right. That wasn't an apology. Right. right. I, yep. Absolutely. You know what you want to say. I get it. You're so good at this. I, I really don't, I, I don't, I don't really have anything, especially on this channel. I really don't have anything to say. We just have to go with the flow and see if she does her um, apology video. For me, I'm going to yeah, be honest, yeah. it's been so long. I don't care. I, I, listen, I wish everybody lo love, uh, uh, not love, I'm sorry, Please. like wealth and, and, and happiness. And I hope everybody in their mental place is, um, good you know and i do I, w I wish everybody happiness and stuff and i'm i'm at the point where it's like it's been so long i really don't need it if that makes sense i love you know that I mean? for you yeah That's i love what I that said last you. night on the stream i said i don't need anything from her not yep, one thing yep, her. what yep. i need for her to do is keep my name out of her mouth other than that yeah. i don't care you know peace love move on sell your mlm Amazon box, whatever. I, I don't know. Right. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> no, I think it's really amazing that you are in such a good place because there's a lot of history, you know, so I just I love that. And I was just curious if you had any opinions on that. But no, I totally get it. And like I said, I didn't want to crash your stream, but I wanted to tell you guys how amazing you are. And, um, you know, yeah, that I do want to be your friends. So that way people don't have to assume. And I appreciate you guys coming on. I just had to do something where I, it made me mad. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden I see news were live. I'm like, yes, I'm getting in there. So, no, I just well, want we'll you to know to keep you guys it real really positive over it. here. But when the other channel, you know, we might get a little more down and dirty over there. But over here you we know, try to keep um, it professional. You know, I, I am very sorry because I didn't pay attention to the channel. I definitely caught what Anne was sending my way. And I'm sorry because I didn't pay attention sorry. to what channel we were on. You know, that's truthful. I'm I'm I feel really bad now. But I, I I make mistakes and that's my problem for not looking. You know, I didn't know we weren't on the world channel, honey. I really didn't. I just came in to enjoy a chat. So 
Yeah. Oh, don't worry about I, that I at all because it, everything's fair game. It's just, you know, we don't want to drag Alex. Alex has her own no, issues. Of course and whatever not. happens yeah. with her, you know, what happens with her, you know, like Ann said, we don't wish anybody poorly. You know, I, I don't hate anybody. And I just, I, it was so long ago. Why she's still talking about it's kind of crazy. In my, not, I don't mean that like dictionary crazy. I just mean wild, sure. you know. And so, but over on just Anne's world channel, maybe we'll get into that. How about that, Anne? Yeah. Well, let's just change the subject because I see the chat is feeling uncomfortable too. Because we, you know. So any anyway, um, let me see. I am so sorry. I'm gonna Kira. get off of here. I'm so no for real. I feel terrible. I really no, I'm am sorry. Bad. No, don't feel bad. I'm glad that you came up here. Everybody's welcome up here. I've told you that before. Everybody's welcome. No, I know. And I am looking at the chat now in chat. I'm very sorry. I didn't want to start drama. I was just like looking for an opinion. I mean that. And I will stay off of your panel for at least three more streams, just so I don't feel like oh, I'm up here talking to you. Don't do that. Come I'll back. Here. Everybody's welcome. I'll be here. No, I'll be back, but I just won't click this link no more. I get myself in trouble every damn time. You ladies no. are awesome. Thank you for coming live. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll be in chat, and hopefully they'll like me again. I'll tell them how I beautiful I feel like it. Happy Friday. <laughs> Thanks. Same to Bye. you. Bye, girls. Okay. I'm not going to stay on here much longer. It is 1030 already. The dogs are being good. I'm surprised. They're Alexa, being really quiet. Mm -hmm. That's because I put, <laughs> I put the animal ch channel on. Um, on I always do that. It's not, it's an, I, I don't know. I don't know why I do it. They probably don't even look at TV, you know? Abby would watch TV, but my little dogs wouldn't. And if they saw something run across of it, the TV real quick, then they'd run up by the TV, but they really didn't watch it. Abby would lay and watch it for hours. Yeah. All right. Let me get off of here. I hear the dogs are starting to bark and stuff. Lexi is uh, getting ready to get up soon. She has her alarm set for 1030, so she can leave here at 11. And Isaiah will be home soon. He gets done work in a half hour. So I'm going to get off here. I All right. Well, I'm going to click off so you can say your goodbyes. Goodbye, everybody. And I hope you have a great weekend. All righty. Thanks, Lisa. All right. Bye, Ann. Bye. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were still talking, Lisa. Sorry. Um, what was I going to say? Anyway, so don't forget, if you guys are just coming in, let me just tell you real quick the um, winners. So for the Beautylish Lucky Bag XL, um, remember, you had to say the word lipstick. Um, Emily Brooks, 677 one. Where is it? Right here. And then for the Beautylish regular bag, Monica, who was in the chat, she won there. So, Emily, you have until Monday to get a hold of me. Monday night, if I don't hear from you, then we'll go live real quick and we'll we'll do like a quick live and then we'll pick another winner and stuff. But congratulations. Larry. Oh, hey, Stevie. I didn't even know that you were in here. Sorry. And Karen. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Are, did you guys have you guys been in here? That is so rude of me. You know, once I start yapping my mouth, I, I, you know, I start talking and stuff. You hear the dogs? All right. So let me get off of here. They probably hear Lexi. Let them go out. They haven't been out for a while. Thank you guys for showing up in the chat. Um, there should be a vlog tomorrow. So if you don't, check out Just Ann's World. And uh, yeah, that's everything, guys. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.